Michael Gale for the EPP. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, just to come on this one point from Natalie on the European Peace Facility, which is indeed outside the budget, so in so far perhaps easier to fill up if need be. Are there any plans in this regard already? Have you discussed it with your council uh, people already? Um, on where you just came from, on the energy issues and, and, and the Gulf, indeed I think uh, it is urgent for us to, to uh, conclude um, um, long-term uh, agreements uh, with these countries. I mean, yes, there are, they have also got some um, problems with human rights issues, but I think uh, the difference to Russia is they are neither threatening us nor Ukraine. So I think there's all points to make uh, in this regard uh, to, to have a conclusion with them. Uh, JCPOA, how is your uh, assessment? Can we do that also without Russia and lift the sanctions against Iran? Isn't that uh, if on the substance the agreement is there, if we were there, uh, and if, is Russia really in a position to block it, or could we not and should we not conclude it with Iran and uh, see to it that they have to gain much more if we lift the sanctions and they can sell oil and gas to us than what Russia could offer them? Is that the perception? And in order to bind these two parts of the Gulf together, my question is, when we engage with the southern part of the Gulf, and if we lift the sanctions towards Iran, should we not accompany or add on that a kind of, and it has been discussed before, a kind of um, conference on security and cooperation around the Gulf? Should that not be an ambition from our side to, so to say, as we interact with all around, with Iran, with the Gulf states on the southern side, uh, that we would engage in this regard in, in order to overcome these potential tensions there between Saudi Arabia and Iran for the better of their region and uh, of the com uh, in the cooperation with us. Thank you. Thank you.